In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Threads account to NA10. And by doing this, you can build what I called X and Threads Factory, the system that can automatically create viral posts and post them to Threads and to X or Twitter account. But uh, this system, I'll explain how to set up in another video. But for now, we will set up Threads account. So uh, let's do it. First, we go to business.facebook.com. If you didn't register, so you need first to register here on Meta Business Suite. Then we go on settings and we open accounts, apps. We need to create our new app. So we press add and press create a new ad ID. Here we choose the name and our email, then press next. And we choose access to threads API, next, then choose our portfolio and we go to dashboard. Now after creating the app we need to do some steps. It might be a little bit confusing but don't worry just follow this instruction. Uh, you press here customize the access to threads API use case. Then you go to settings and you need to copy threads uh, app ID and threads app secret. And here in uh, NA10 you need just four fields access token client secret account id and threads id and we will get them all by the way you can get this full template for free in my school community so check out the link in the description so we go here and copy threads app secret past it here i put another client secret so don't show your client secret to anybody then we need account id it's basically our threads account username so we copy it and put it here then we need to add access token and threads id but before this you can see this in the instruction we need to add role threads tester so we go back to facebook and choose here app roles then press roles and here press add people choose threads tester and choose this username yes and press add and then we see it's pending so we go to threads press here settings and then we open account website permission and we are waiting here for the permission from the facebook yeah it takes a few seconds and now we see invites threads new app so we press accept yeah now we add it so then after we add we go back and now we need to go to tools graph ip explorer so we go to facebook and press tools graph ip explorer here we choose threads then we need to choose the meta app that we created threads new app and after we choose threads and here the meta app we press generate access token and now we need to confirm here we go we have access token so copy it and put it here and the last one we need threads id we go back to developers facebook and press here submit and now yeah we are ready with our threads id so we copy this id and put it here now we have all the settings and we need to exchange our token because our um, token will last only for around one hour and we need to exchange it for more long-term token which will last for two months and here we use this node uh, where we e exchange our short-term token to long-term and we can easily start with let's say with this trigger we press execute and now we will get here this access token let's copy it and check it in the graph explorer press tools access token debugger and if we paste this our new token we should see that now it expires in about two months so now we receive the long-term token uh, which which is available for two months and by doing this we can now post our uh, threads to the app so the posting to threads consists of two steps. First, we need to create the thread, which basically creates the draft, and then we need to post it. So if you open 
this HTTP request. I put all the information here. Uh, this is the URL with method post. And here you need to insert your threads ID. And also in authorization, you need to use Beerer and then your API key. And we are good to go. And here is the text, which I have just for example, hello world and media type. And this node creates the draft. And then the second node will publish this draft. So let's check it. I paste my threads ID here in the link. And then in the bearer, this is API key. Basically, it's access token. So I will paste my access token and we will see how it works. Yeah, now I paste everything. And here you can see in post thread, you need to add creation JSON. Yeah, this JSON ID uh, from this node. So now let's check it and add trigger and press execute. It says successfully. Let's see in the threads. Yeah, and now we see hello world. It works and now you can post as many threads as you want. And in the next video, I'll show you how to create your X and threads factory that you can create automatically all your ideas and news and post it automatically on threads and X AK Twitter. And if you want to get this workflows template for free, just check the link in the description and get it from my free school community. I'll see you there.